Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the second lecture of this Stars and Bars uh, lecture series. So, in this lecture, we are going to see how this problem that we have already talked in the first lecture can be solved using stars and bars. And in fact, in this lecture, we would talk about what is actually stars and bars counting technique. So once again we move to this question how many non negative integer solution exists for this equation x plus y plus z is equals to 20. To solve this problem and to show you what stars and bars is let's take a simple version of that problem and solve for equation x plus y is equals to 5. Now to solve this let's take five stars i have taken five stars instead of circles or anything else because since the name of this technique is stars and bars so it's only logical to use stars here so i have used five stars and five stars because the equation contains five five which is equal to which is basically your n so now stars are n and now we have to divide these star in two variables so now we have n stars and we have to divide those stars so since stars represent n now the remaining thing that how we are gonna partition or divide these stars among the these two variables we need to use some other thing and that thing is of course you might have guessed it these are bars so we would use bars to set partitions for different variables now we need only one bar because a single bar can partition the whole thing into two parts as you can see uh, from left side of this bar the region belongs to x and the right the right region belongs to y so this configuration uh, corresponds to a solution of 2 comma 3 that is 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 as you can see using the stars and bars we can actually represent the solution of this equation in graphical method but is it gonna help us in any way the answer is yes first let's take a look at the total number of solutions of this equation there are six solutions as we can see ranging from 0 5 to 5 0 now for each of these solutions, there is a specific configuration of the stars and bars represented here. In fact, there is only uh, there are only six different permutation or configuration of these five stars and a single bar. So, and we also see that there are six solution. So we can see that each solution can be represented using these stars and bars the first solution that is 0 5 represents when the bar is comp uh, here where on the left side there is nothing on the right side there are five stars so x gets 0 while y uh, y gets five stars similarly the configuration 4 1 can can be represented if i move the bar to here so the left side contains four stars while the right side contains one star now if you see there are six different configuration ranging from the bar from here and then here and then here all the way up to here now these six configuration represents six different solutions of these equations so there uh, one more time there are five stars because the value of n is five and we have to uh, distribute these five stars among these variables since there are two variables you need 2 minus 1 that is one bar since uh, you can consider it as a stick suppose so if you cut the stick k times then there would be k plus 1 uh, strips left so since we have to divide the whole thing into two parts we only need one bar hence the total number of elements here are six uh, you can consider we have six boxes each box can either contain a star or a bar now there are five stars and one bar out of six box 
we need to fill five of those by stars so the total number of configuration would be 6c5 or 6 choose 5 basically 6 factorial divide by uh, 5 factorial divide by 1 factorial that is of course 6 or you can say out of 6 places we need to fill one place with bar so it would be 6c1 that is 6 factorial divide by 1 factorial and multiplied by 5 factorial which again would be 6 this is basic combinatorics now if we take a look to this equation we see that the number of stars are 3 and hence we have represented or taken 3 stars now there are 3 variables so we need 2 bars that is 3 minus 1 and hence 2 bars this configuration represents x gets 2 stars y gets 0 z gets 1 star so this corresponds to 2 0 1 if you fill the values 2 plus 0 plus 1 it would add up to 3 and hence this represents 201 solution now the total number of configuration would be since we have total five blocks in each block we can either fill star or bar out of five two have to be filled by bars so the total number of configuration would be 5c2 hence the total number of solution of this equation would be 5c2 now the equation uh, that we can solve using this configuration in in that configuration there would not be any uh, configuration of uh, representation of this graphical method there won't be a single configuration in which a, a, a region gets negative stars of course the stars can be either zero or positive there is no way you can represent negative stars that's why uh, the variables can assume values from 0 onwards that is why the variables that we are taking here uh, follow a specific rule that all the variables take values from 0 so all the variables x y and z are greater than or equal to 0 sorry for this my bad ah, sorry and now yeah the important thing so if we generalize this and to solve a general equation where we have k variables a1 plus a2 plus a3 dash 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 ak and the sum of all these have to be equal to n then we know there are n number of stars and k minus 1 number of bars so the total number of boxes would be n plus k minus 1 now either you can find the total number of ways to fill stars then the remaining uh, places would of course be filled by bars so if you find the total number of phase you can fill the bars would be total boxes comma number of bars total number of boxes would be these and k minus 1 have to be filled by bars that is why the total number of solution would be uh, n plus k minus 1 c k minus 1 or you can fill n number of stars first and the remaining would be filled by bars so the number of ways to choose n number of stars out of n plus k minus 1 boxes is n plus k minus 1 choose n so either this or this in fact uh, combinate if you have studied basic combinatorics you know uh, ncr is basically equal to nc and minus r so that is what is represented here so the solution of this equation where all the variables assume values starting from zero basically all the variables are non-negative and all the variables assume integer values the total number of solution would be n plus k minus 1 comma k minus 1 or c n plus k minus 1 comma n so this was all about stars and bars and now uh, in the first uh, first lecture i have shown you two different problems which i told you that can be solved using stars and bars so this is a challenge to you try to solve the marbles problem from spodge using stars and bars and yep that that, that is a challenge because uh, the technique that we have seen uh, uh, we have re uh, deduced these formulas assuming that all the variables take values uh, starting from zero but in that problem it is given that 
all the variables must have at least a single value i mean uh, all the marbles that you take you must have at least one marble from each color that is each variable must be strictly positive it cannot be zero it have to be greater than equal to one it cannot be greater than equal to zero it have to be greater than equal to one so try to figure out how you can solve that problem until the next lecture in which i will be showing you how you can derive the formula for that problem and utilize these stars and bars to solve that problem so till then thank you guys for watching and yeah keep coding thank you